Hey, what's up? Welcome back, guys. I hope you are ready to learn more about Pac-Man. Okay, we are covering on this one how to make the points that Pac-Man is eating vanish. Let's get to it. We're going to select our Pac-Man and we're going to bring up the position points. And from there, we're going to go all the way to the end of our comp. Now, we've got it set up here. We're going to go up to the top here and select our pen tool. And with our points board selected, we are going to zoom in on our Pac-Man here. And with our points board selected, we are going to go ahead and start out our first point. And we're going to put one right Oh, here. Looks like a pretty good spot. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to create points all around where Pac-Man travels. So, this is going to be fun. We'll go ahead and place one here. And actually, we want it to go just a little bit past the point. Move that you know, up and down a little bit. Then we'll go down further to here and to here and if we need to see where he travels we can always you know go back in time and make sure that we're getting where he's at we're pretty much just going to create a giant shape that's going to go all around the board and we'll go all the way up to here and track him back up to the air where does he go oh, he doesn't even turn there so we'll do a command Z to take that point back and we'll put the point here instead bring him back it's gonna go along that way so so yeah we're gonna mask all the way around further this one is going to go all the way to the end okay so I'll set this one over here move it down a little bit put this one up to here over to here as you can see Keyframing is just lots of fun. Setting points and mask and all that other stuff. Uh, we noticed he turns there so sooner than I was expecting, so we're just going to move that over to here. Keep moving around. Now, once I have the first path set, we'll stop. I'll have you guys take over and just go along on your own and we'll rejoin once I've finished this because I've almost finished setting up one half So we've pretty much reached the end of it. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do here is we're just going to go back around and recreate the rest of the line. So we'll just click here, click down here, and we want to make sure that they follow uh, or that we're keeping these points in between the solid yellow, yellow lines, which can prove to be a little difficult but not always so now I'm just gonna go all the way back around and 
get back up to the top here, to here. Back up to here, back over to there. Back down to here, and we'll slightly go over. And back to here, all the way down to here. All right, so we've pretty much got our mask made. This is our mask here. And if we go through, we can see that Pac-Man goes on the inside of it the whole time. So from here, what we're gonna do is, on our mask two, this is our game board, so let's go ahead and rename this game board, mask one is. And then mask two is gonna be the points, so we're just gonna call it points. And we can collapse that. And we're going to change this right here to subtract. And that's going to make all the points go away. If I have our select tool, we can go through and kind of fix up some of our points, make them better. And you notice on some parts, the points have reappeared. I'll show you what we're going to do on those. Uh, we'll have to create another mask around those points to make them re-vanish. Yeah, so we've got our, you know, very basic mask of the points and Pac-Man goes through in between them the whole time. Now from here, we're gonna go back to the end and we're gonna start animating these points to appear as, or to vanish as Pac-Man goes through. So we'll go down to the bottom, or we'll drop down this points and we're going to turn the mask path on. And then from there, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to where our Pac-Man is. And I'm going to start animating. So I'm going to go from here, and let's bring up the Pac-Man positions. That'll help us out a little bit. So if we go to the first position keyframe for Pac-Man here, And with our points board selected, we can go on to our paths. And to select individual paths, we'll just select the game board. And then if we click inside here, and we can click on one of these points, and hold down the shift key, and that'll allow me to select both these points. And I'm just going to bring them over to the right. And I'm using a shift click method. So I'm holding down the shift key, and I'm pressing the right arrow button. And that's allowing me to shift click. All right, and then from here, we're gonna take these two points and highlight them, and move them up to this point. And that's just going to allow us to grab a whole bunch of points at once. And we'll re-highlight again, and hold down Shift and select this point here. Our Pac-Man is kind of covering it, but there is another point there that's difficult to see. And we'll go next to our next Pac-Man position point, which is there. And we'll just shift click down the new points that we've selected. Now you can also select like the line here and just drag it right down and that's a little quicker. Sometimes you might miss points when you do it that way, but it works perfectly fine. All right, we'll move our Pac-Man over to the next point. And I'm going to select these two points here and move them over with our other group. Now, this is kind of a sloppier way to create a mask, but it, it works and it's effective. So we'll just select all these points and drag them on over. OK, 
Okay, then let's move our Pac-Man over. We'll select this group of points. Make sure our point slayer is selected. This group of points here. Make sure they're all selected and we'll move those down to this grouping here. And hold down the shift key and just reselect these two. And we can zoom back a little bit. Just bring that on up. Alright, so. I feel like you guys kind of get the idea of what to do on this. So I am going to continue onward fixing this mask up and I will rejoin you once I've finished. Okay, we are back. Um, I've reached the end here. If you guys made it this far, then your mask should look like a bunch of scrunched up points and uh, not a very great beginning mask. But as we scrub through this, we can see our mask is indeed working. Now there's some slight modifications that we're probably gonna have to make to it, but that's okay. To do those, we will just find where those changes are goofy. So like this right here, that's messing up. So how do we fix that? Well, we'll go to this point here. Zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to see where the point is separating at. I'm just going to select that single point. Follow it back. I'll just zoom in on it here. And simply just make sure it is set. And there we go. That should fix that one. That looks good. Awesome. So yeah, we are capable of editing these as needed, cleaning up the points. I recommend going through and cleaning it up to make sure your animation looks good. So with that being said, let's figure out how to make our points that reappear stay disappeared. For example, these set of points that reappear here. So we are going to just create another mask around them. So we've got them viewing right now. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this point. And we will make sure that we have our points board selected. And with our rectangle tool selected, we will just draw a rectangle around these points. set it to subtract and from there we are simply going to make it appear as soon as it gets to those so we'll drop down the mask menu we are going to set its opacity for the first frame and we'll drop it down to 0% and we'll go to the next frame and we are going to increase it to 100% and now you'll notice that the points disappear when Pac-Man goes across and they stay disappeared when he comes back over them. Isn't that great? So you can do that for any points that have reappeared on your board, and that'll keep them vanished. All right, so I have finished putting 
all the mask over my different points that need them. So let's uh, go ahead and check out the full animation now. And, you know, it does take a little bit of time tinkering with the mask uh, going over the points. It's probably the most intensive part of, of the uh, whole animation. You can do it a bunch of different ways. This isn't the only way to do it. Uh, this is just the way I chose to do it. You could also segment it by just doing a rectangle on each set of, of dots. Um, and that, uh, if you did it that way, you would have you know a bunch of mass lined up under here. And you've already got quite a few. But, you know, it just kind of depends on how you like to do everything. Like I said, this is just one way of getting rid of those points. But that wraps up how to mask the points. Make sure to uh, click subscribe up in the right-hand corner so you can continue on with this Pac-Man series. We're going to be covering the ghosts next. We're going to cover how to animate them and... Uh, after that, we'll show how to do the power ball where the ghosts turn into, um, I don't know, a different ghost and Pac-Man can eat them. We'll cover how to eat them and all that. So stay tuned. We've got a few more lessons to go and by the end of it, we're going to have a whole entire Pac-Man game. I look forward to teaching y'all. All right. Check out videofort.com for some stock footage videos there, and uh, have a great day. Later, guys.